I feel awful about this. And my Bible. <laughs> Those papers are just papers. But it's where they come from and the heart of the people that are behind them when they come from. Amen. Amen. And just like your 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 bloodline's here, Woo. so is you, your Christ's bloodline as well. Woo. And that makes us all one blood. Yeah. 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 And we're going with you. Amen. Amen. Listen, tonight, guys, uh, I want us to do something very special. Come on. Uh, tonight, I want us to, to bless this family tonight with the uh, Wednesday night tithes and offerings. Mm -hmm. So tonight, the church won't be taking an offering. Yeah. Uh, we'll be giving an offering. Come so on. what you would give, I ask you to give to to this family. So you can make your checks directly payable to them, to their ministry. And, and please, tonight, I ask you if you would, and if you have it and you can, I would ask you to please bless them tonight as, uh, as we send them. So good. so good. Um, I also want to give you an opportunity as you're preparing that. Is there anything y'all would like to, to to share tonight? Oh yeah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Oh my gosh. Uh, somebody bring my Bible up here. I did come with a scripture for the church. Um I know the pastor said the church is in trouble. Boy, if you only knew. This church ain't so bad, but let me tell you where we come from. I guarantee you about three months there, you could pick five churches and go to them every Sunday for three months. And I guarantee you if you wasn't backslid, you'd be running to Rome, Georgia, to this church. Now that's a fact. We can't go to church there. We didn't want to be ordained by a religious church. It don't get you nowhere. But we trust this pastor. We trust this church. I wish I was here every Sunday and every Wednesday night. But it can't be. And I'm going to tell you something. There's a lot. Of, there's some of you in here that's been called to go somewhere. God's going to send you. But if you think he's going to send you someplace you want to go, He's not. Don't go because you're, you're going to be of non-effect. He'll send you where you don't want to go. But he'll give you a joy about born when you're ready to leave. I was born and raised upstate New York. I got a lot of bad memories back there. I got a lot of good memories too. But all my relatives back there that I grew up with, all the quarrymen, all the... They was, they was uh, fighters. They was drinkers, it was drunks, it was alcoholics. And every one of them are gone now. And I don't know of one of them that got saved. But I loved every one of them. And now I got their children to deal with. And it's a big, 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 big chore. There's so much religion back there. I mean, I can't explain to you. It, it just let me let me just say this my neighbor now back there i've been there seven months my neighbor back there was my neighbor when i was five years old on the farm same guy and i know for a fact he's been going to church from the time he was five years old and he's my age now he's 77. He, i don't think he ever missed a sunday at church his whole life he don't know two scriptures He is so lost that it's incredible. I mean, I can tolerate just a few things that he says, but I have to correct you. He don't believe that people that love the Lord should have any money at all. He thinks you should be poor. And I said, well, Jim, what do you do with the God addeth, God maketh rich and adds no sorrow to it? What do you do with that one? I mean, I, I go on all day long just quoting scriptures to him and saying, what are you going to do with this one, Jim? He don't know. He's lost. I don't think he ever got born again. But I'm going to tell you something. When I got born again, I got born from above and it changed my life forever. Come on. Come on. Come on. I had to reinvent myself. I didn't even know who I was. Come on, I didn't bro. go to the same place. I didn't talk the same way. I didn't think the same way. I used to think if you didn't drink, there was something wrong with you. Wasn't nothing wrong with you, it was wrong with me. 
God gave me, uh, in the same as scripture, but this is what he told me. He said, if you change the heart, right here, if God changes the heart, you change the mind. If you change the mind, you change the man. If you change the man, you change the world. Yeah. yeah. Now, that's what God himself told me. That's not scripture, but you can back it up if you go to the Bible. Yeah. Starts right here in the heart. He doesn't deal with this. This is where religion comes from, right here. You got to deal with God with this, your heart. And I'm going to give this mic to my wife, and <laughs> you're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> not really, but seriously, yes, really. this Come is on. this is such a blessing. Oh, you don't this is such a blessing to see the church people here, to see us all. You guys are a blessing to us. I see my family all the time when I'm here, but you guys are such a blessing to be here. You're God ordained to be here. God had a place for you to be here, to hear this message that this pastor preached to you. Because there is a price to pay if you want to get serious with God. Come on. If you want to really, really get serious with God and you really, really, really want to sell out to him, there is a price to pay. Don't let anybody tell you it don't cost you something. It will cost you everything you have, everything you are, everything you might become, and everything that you want to be. Go ahead, Gina. It will cost you your very life. But the reward of following Jesus Hallelujah. to the very end Come on. is the greatest thing that you'll ever do in your life because you're not your own. You're bought with a price. You don't belong to yourself. I'm going to have to start preaching, Pastor, and I can't help it. But I don't want to keep you long. You should have never gave me a mic because Amen. I want to tell you something. I love Jesus with all my heart. Come on, Jesus. And when he said, will you go? I said, no, I won't. <laughs> because I know where he was sending me 30 years ago he asked me and I said no you know that's nice you know he said he's giving me Walton and he's given me the surrounding communities for my inheritance I said you know what God bless you Lord but no thank you God bless you Lord <laughs> yeah. right up until then he has to take me us from Arizona to Marlene's house for three years in her little guest house. And we didn't know where we were going. We know we gave everything up up in Arizona, sold our house, sold everything we had, and brought stuff that we thought we had to keep to Marlene's house, two loads. I'll let you know this is the second load we come after. But anyway, <laughs> I want to tell you something. At our age, you don't give up the house you got paid for. At our age, you don't give up, you know, he, he builds cars. You don't give up his love. Don't give up my love of, of horses and going yard sailing and having glassware and stuff, which is what I like, you know, and stuff, because that's a part of who you are. Well, let me tell you something. You give up a part of who you are for him. Yeah. Yeah. So now we get to Merlene's house, been there three years. Come on. My Holy daughter, which hears from God, and my other daughter, which is a blonde one back there, says, well, you're going to New York two years before we went. I said, I don't think so. You didn't hear from God. I met devil in the name of Jesus. You didn't hear from God. Well, guess what? God impressed upon us to go to New York when was it? September. I hope I'm not taking all your time, but I, I want to bring this out because I think it's important. Come on. See, you're sending me, you're going to have put up with me now. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, see, because we grew up there, and we had so many bad memories and, and so many bad things happened to us that we didn't want to go back. Just a little small town, over 2,000 people maybe. And we didn't want to go back. We go back. Don't want to go back to the same area where all this happened. Don't want to go back to all those bad memories. You know, and stuff, because childhoods weren't that great. Or nothing. No, no good memories at all. Hardly. Not even one that I can think of. <laughs> we said, no. I called my sister, which 